mysterious shadow monster has arrived in Fortnite. It looks like it is attacking everyone, including Princess Lexa and Orin. Because those two are the only one that knows the identification of this monster. And it looks like this monster has something to do with Ageless, Stallon, and the Nothing. Most likely, this monster is going to be revealed during the live event of next season. And whoever this monster is, it looks like this might be someone that we know. Because in the description of this month's crew pack skin, it says darkness draws near, but is it friend or foe? Now, I think I know exactly who this person is. Before I tell you guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and use code SMJM for five months of good luck. Now, to understand this, we have to go all the way back in Chapter 4, Season 1. In the Battle Pass, we are introduced to the skin called Ageless. And in the description of the skin, we are made very clear that this is not Geno. This is, in fact, just a snapshot of Geno. That's why the skin is called Ageless Champion and not Geno. When we finally get the Geno skin, he's going to look like this. Ageless is part of this group called Oathbound, and his main castle is the Citadel. We find out that Ageless is, in fact, being controlled by this entity. He is described as the Shapeless Man, and the Shapeless Man has given Ageless a mission. He has to build a rift gate for this Shapeless Man so he can come to Fortnite Island. Now, to create a portal or rift, he's going to need a lot of energy. The only thing that possesses that much power is the Zero Point, but the whereabouts of the Zero Point was unknown in Chapter 4 Season 1. But out of pure luck, Amy the AI approaches Ageless and tells him about Kinetic Ores. Kinetic Ores are these powerful rocks that you can find at Shattered Slabs. These rocks have the ability to connect contain, absorb, and release kinetic energy. The harder you hit this rock, the more energy it produces. That is why these rocks, if you keep hitting them, goes from blue to pink. And once it's fully charged, the rock releases a huge amount of energy and it goes flying. But this rock in this raw state is not powerful enough to run a portal gate. Amy reveals to us to make this rock 100 times more stronger, you have to refine it. Now the Ageless does not know how to do this so he decides to hire someone. His name is Stallon. Stallon is a Rift Warden. He has built Rift portals before. Not as strong as this one but he knows how to do it. But when Stallon signed up for the job he did not know that the Nothing is the one that needs this Rift Gate and not Ageless. The Nothing approaches Stallon and talks to him. Dalon reveals to us that the nothing has the power to talk to you in your dreams. That is how he's been able to communicate with Ageless despite being at a different reality. The reason why Stallon is revealing all this information to us is as part of the quest we had to help him build this rift gate. And the reason why we are helping Stallon is so that Amy can use this rift gate and go to the reality where the seven are stuck and help them and bring them back. As we are helping Stallon build this rift gate, he reveals to us that there is a shapeless man. He's watching us all with dark purpose. He says if the rift gate isn't built, he is going to destroy us. Now the rift gate has been built, it is ready to be used, but someone messes with it and it destabilizes and explodes. This creates a giant portal in the sky. When we go to season 2, we realize that Stallon and Ageless are missing. Stallon was described as a beautiful monster. And why would Stallon be described as a monster? You can tell Stallon is actually a good guy. Talking to this guy, he did not want to help the shapeless man, but he said he had no other option. This shapeless man would destroy everything. So in a way, he was doing everything to save us. Now that he's failed the shapeless man's mission and he's missing right now, I think that nothing has punished him by turning into this evil monster. If you wear the Stallon skin and go talk to Dr. Sloan, she says, I know what you are even if you don't. Notice how she says, I know what you are and not I know who you are. Meaning Stallon turns into this evil monster, a shapeshifter who's a man and a beast. I think just like a werewolf, he turns into this monster, something that he can't control. He will attack his friends and family without knowing knowing what he's doing. We know that because Sloane says, I know what you are, even if you don't. 
It is also possible that Stalon, while in this monster form, is being controlled by the nothing. The only two people that knows the identification of this monster is Princess Lexa and Prince Orin. Because if you look at this loading screen, you can see these two fighting against this creature who's created this giant shadow covering almost the entire room. If you look at Stalon's loading screen, you can see him sitting on this throne. This throne is obviously at citadel and in this picture they're both in the same room we know that lexa and orin survived this moment because we get lexa as an npc if you wear the stallion skin and go talk to lexa she says the sages were right now the sages were the people that described stallion as a beautiful monster and we don't exactly know what triggers stallion turning into this monster but there's a rumor going on that it might be ageless champion only he can turn Stallon into this monster. And he does this by using the refined kinetic ore. Looks like the kinetic ore isn't just used to run things, but it also has some dark energies. And the Ageless is using this dark energy to turn Stallon into this monster. And I think he's doing this as a punishment for failing to build a working rift gate. You see, the reason why the Nothing wants to come to this Fortnite Chapter 4 map is for the refined kinetic ores. If you didn't know that nothing is the head of the last reality, we know that the last reality created the cubes. They use the cube to run everything from their ships to weapons. Even their logo is shaped like the cube. Now I believe the cubes are made from kinetic ores. During chapter two, season seven live event, Dr. Sloan exploded the mothership. And we saw the room where they keep all of the cubes cubes when the mothership exploded all of those cubes landed on the Fortnite island. The last reality tried to use that opportunity, take over the Fortnite island. He sent the cube queen and she tore a portal in the sky, tried to let in everyone, including the nothing. I believe nothing was inside of this ship because this is the main mothership. Here is a size comparison. This ship is almost three times as big as Galactus. But the seven flipped the island destroying all of the cubes now they need more kinetic ores to rebuild the cubes and the reason why i think the kinetic ores is what's used to build the cubes because similar to kinetic ores if you pickaxe or shoot the cube it turns a pink and it releases energy creating a lightning bolt now the nothing wants to get to chapter 4 map to harvest these kinetic ores but there's one thing that confused us is when stalon revealed to us that the shapeless man wants a world with perfect order. Now this is exactly what Geno wants as well. You see Geno is the head of the Imagine Order and the IO is described as an organization that wants a perfect order. We know that the last reality are on their way because in two season two people has already warned us. Season two Syndicate warned us that someone hacked into their system, destroyed all all of the intel that they had on the last reality they are saying it might be triarch nox who's actually working for the last reality and also we know that serenade is on the map she appeared with bunch of monoliths on the map as well i believe she's working for the last reality and also herald is on the map and also optimus prime this season has warned us power that used to protect the fortnite island is now fading and the enemies have taken note Notice. I think he's talking about the shield bubble that used to protect the Fortnite map. We don't have that and that was the only thing that was stopping the last reality from getting in and we are getting closer to chapter 5 and we know at the end of every chapter we get an attack from the last reality. This is all going to happen during next season's live event. Also during this event we're gonna find out the fate of the seven because we are going to need their help and we know that Dr. 
Sloan is on this map. Optimus Prime told us to trust Dr. Sloan. She might be the only way. They have been mentioning the nothing since chapter one. Well, I believe this live event is going to be a very big one since they're finally going to reveal head of the last reality. Also, this monster is going to be revealed during this live event as well. And we are going to find out if this monster is actually Stalon or completely someone else. Never know, this might even be the nothing.